My religion is kamitics and my spirituality is Ubuntu Maati Consciousness. Therefore, I am a kamitician. Why would thinkers and uh, activists like Thomas Malthus, Frederick Engels, the Luddites, John Stuart Mill, Henry David Thore, William Wordsworth, and John Moore, and many, many others criticize European industrial revolution? Today, let us look at the reality that modern technology is unsafe. Technological destruction of nature, are you safe? Is modern technological progress malevolent? Just look at this man. Take your time. Are you created to live in such a world? Are you safe? What can you and me do? John Stuart Mill uh, questioned the logic of economic uh, model that are uh, spared only and promotes economic uh, growth. Why would such thinkers see evil? in modern advancement applauded by others as age of enlightenment and the age of reasoning are tinkerers destructive inventors always dream of producing new products or services they are all fueled by a totally different spirit assuming the earth and human life is in need of improvement scientific know-how out of the enlightenment age was pushed by a series of european minds james watt Adam Smith, William Hackinson, and others. Today, they are deified as progressive. Did they make a huge mistake? Was their progress the birth of a malevolent world or a wonderful achievement? Are you safe? They insist that we are much safer today and we live a long and happy life based on the lasers, fair, free economy, high tech, artificial intelligence, and new machines ready to take over our jobs and the relief us so that we can go on holiday and have a good time and a good life on the earth soon an urban smart working class will be unleashed to transform this earth into a new utopia based on artificial intelligence such a civilization led by europeans is destined to base everything on automation digital currents artificial intelligence individualized smart health systems voluntary labor easy mobility and the consumption of sparkling products but at what cost are you safe ubuntu maati sustained nature ubuntu said everything is connected as we criticize this industrial society let's highlight that we are not in any way suggesting we go back to live in caves Mud hearts, bows, spears and arrows. No, we are viewing everything using Ubuntu Maati principles to check whether this modern high-tech world created by European brain is the best. We ask a simple question. How is it treated nature? Whose golden age? Giorgio di Santillana, former professor of the history of science at MIT United States in the landmark work Hamlet is new an essay investigating the origins of human knowledge and its transmission uh, through myth has proved that a folklore and myth existing in more than 30 ancient cultures wrote about the golden ages that existed across time in it, it is mentioned that there are cycles of time with long periods of enlightenment broken by dark ages of ignorance. Moreover, they show that it seems to be connected to, to or driven by a non-astronomical phenomenon, the precession of the equinoxes. Let us ask, which race is involved in these earlier cycles? Only two general races can be identified thus far. We know that a uh, white skin developed in Europe only as recent as 8,000 years ago. Anthropology say the genetic results paint a fascinating picture and were published in a recent series of papers in Nature and Science. You can go to this website indicated here to read and to study and to see the image and the peer-reviewed uh, papers about that. So Europeans are a modern race. The history of Europeans' people and DNA sequencing 
prove that they are a modern race of only maybe 20,000 or 30,000 years thereby. So when we talk of the golden ages, they are not involved, they are not engaged. They were not there. The original Europeans, the original indigenous Europeans, were melanin dominant people. Go again to the website shown there above on dailymail.com and uh, you will find the DNA test of 10,000 or skeletons of the cheddar man. He looked like that. The only difference between him and the melanin dominant human beings is none. Zero. New. Zilch. He is the same melanin dominant human being that we are talking about. Original Europeans, therefore, since he was melanin dominant, it means that they had their civilization, which is also the golden age civilization. The emergence of Europeans and other melanin recessive humans, their subsequent conquest of indigenous loving uh, people, melanin dominant humans in all parts of the earth, culminated in the demise through Alexander the Greek, through an easy victory against the weakened and aging African civilization. This instigated the birth of the current civilization. The defeat of ancient Hamid on earth began the attack on nature by European scientists and the continuous technological destruction of nature is what we can witness today. Slowly at first, but in the last 300 or so years, it has been rapidly accelerated by a discovery of a number of products. Modern technology is malevolent. It is empty and devoid of the Bantu Ma'ati spirit and soul of balance and harmony. Are we created to live in such a world? No. Are we safe? No. We are being altered, genetically modified daily. Here is what is happening. We will consider electrical energy and modern high-tech communication systems. The electromagnetic environment on the earth is radically different than it was before 1889. What altered it radically is electricity. There is the proof from New York Herald of almost the same period. He says this positively the latest influenza theory. Instead of being the work of the, of the usual influenza microbe, the Russian influenza is produced by an entirely new microbe that has been developed by the electric light. Just as the invention of deep sea telegraph cables was followed by the appearance of another one designed expressively to eat on the cables and the invention of electric light has also been followed by the appearance of a microbe that causes influenza. So every time there is this, this uh, when these technologies come, they are followed by pandemics and destruction of the natural state of life on the earth. The electricity that we boast of today as a great invention is dirty energy. In 1889, power line harmonic radiation began and the destruction of nature accelerated. The plague of 1892, the power line age was ushered in by the first modern pandemic of influenza. It was called the Russian flu. These are facts. Provable facts. If you do epidemiological studies, you find there's graphs and it's clear. You don't need to be a scientist. Here again, the origin of the natural electricity. Nikola Tesla was one of those close to that a type of electricity. And it balanced and worked safely with nature because it was based on the laws of Maati harmonics. Proof that our ancient ancestors were knowledgeable. They knew electricity. There was electricity in ancient times. The priest teachers, priest astronomers, priest scientists produced it and they codified it via the hieroglyphics. We have already said hieroglyphics are applicable in a plethora of our studies and the fields. Our ancestors had the safest knowledge about electricity and how to produce it. It is clear, therefore, that natural magnetic activity of the Earth has been uh, suppressed since 1889 and that all organic life on the Earth has been affected and compromised. We are not safe. Now, the question is, are we to die just like that? They say, oh, we are not safe and die. There is also what is known as the screaming resonance. Earth's has been 7.83 hertz. So the natural harmony is skewed. Why is Earth's screaming resonance accelerating? Because of technology, it is being pushed out of frequency. And we are no longer calm. We are no longer connected to nature. We are just disconnected to nature and connected to an artificial world.
Another one is the solar radiation that has opened up the magnetosphere which shielded our home, the planet Earth, from solar and cosmic uh, particle radiation indicated here. And also the solar wind and all the distractions that we have on the Earth because this was created. This is the proof that there is creation that we didn't evolve. Evolution is junk science. It cannot be proved. It does not stand anywhere near truth. It's fact. So the radio era and emission of radio waves by hundreds of power stations and transmission stations has altered the natural equilibrium and the state of the magnetosphere. You see, radio waves reflected back to the Earth, so they continuously attack and continuously perforate the magnetosphere and come back to the Earth and affect us. So there are steps to avoid radio frequency radiation. Uh, one of the steps that we can say here is avoid carrying your cell phone on your body unless it is in airplane mode. Radio frequency are typically produced by electrical charges that are moving in an antenna. Radio frequency is mostly used in communication devices such as telecommunication towers, broadcasting antennas, mobile phones, and wireless technologies. So how can you protect yourself from all these, at least to minimize their impact in our lives? Turn off your cell phone and keep it out of a room at night. Don't use Bluetooth headsets. Don't use your cell phone when you are in your car and driving or in using public transportation. Avoid using Wi-Fi at home and opt for hardwired Ethernet connections instead. Check your home with a radio frequency meter and pinpoint EMF hotspots. You need these EMF hotspots to identify them because we, the solution that we are going to suggest shall also affect these. Turn your home into a clean city zone by getting rid of all problem items and appliances such as dimmer, light switches, wireless products, printers, toasters. And all the gadgets you use to uh, cook your food. You rather use gas. And reflects all compact fluorescent light bulbs with incandescent lights. You can read this full article here shown on that uh, slide. What do the experts say about dirty electricity and EMF are pollution? Electromagnetic fields and radiation damage DNA and enhance cell death rates and therefore they are ubiquitous universal genotoxic carcinogen that enhances the rates of cancer, cardiac, reproductive and neurological diseases and mortality in human populations. Therefore, there is no safe threshold level. The only safe exposure level is zero. A position confirmed by Dawes response trends in epidemiological studies. Neil Cherry here and in New Zealand and their website is given there. And these are the sources of EMF exposure. Electric fields emanating from uh, anything containing electricity including lamps, wiring, computer monitors, outlets, electrical appliances. Magnetic fields, a major source of the power is the meter that you have in your home. Power lines underground and above. Metal plumbing, old metal plumbing, and the wireless communication, all these are a problem and a source of uh, EMF pollution. So, is there a natural way for EMF protection? Do EMF protection uh, products work like crystals? Crystals are one of the best ways to protect ourselves from EMFs. They create grids of subtle energy that act like shields against EMF. So, we have a video and we have interacted with a lot of people that have used this and and they minimize because we uh, battle it out against nefarious products and services. Marfado came. We are an earthwide family whose core value is honoring every Muntu who is changing this world for the benefit of our Bantu race. Join us today and help us change this world. Email us on join at marfado.com. In the current uh, technological destruction of nature, are you safe? Yes, you are not safe. Join us and start to live an Ubuntu Maati conscious life. Subscribe to our channel, Committee Brew Ethics. Our email is join at marfado.com. This picture by LM Dumizul saying, stay safe. Have your crystals ready. Pinpoint your EMF high spots. Do not carry your mobile phone on your person. Till we meet again, Edupe Siabonga, Tatenda. Thank you, Henkos.